Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach, and DC has just released uh, more designs for the Scott Snyder Nick Dragoda Absolute Batman, and uh, I think they look pretty good. Um, things can be good. <laughs> I did a community post earlier today where I was just saying like, uh, hey, um, I heard that Disney was being bundled with Hulu, but like it never really showed up on my Disney Plus. I don't have, I used to have Hulu and then they have a new season of The Bear. So I was like, oh, I guess I'll watch it. But it, I was like, oh, maybe, do I have to like cancel and and recancel? And uh, apparently this is supposed to launch in May, but I guess it just uh, launched. So what I did is I canceled my Max subscription. I upgraded my Disney Plus to include Hulu and Max and basically, and I didn't want to deal with the ads, so it's like $29 for all three. And like, I just posted this as like, just like a neutral, like, hey, check it out. And like, the responses were so negative. Like, they were overwhelmingly negative. This is just like a fairly neutral thing. It's like, hey, if you have two or three of these streaming services, you can actually essentially get Hulu for free if you just upgrade your Disney Plus to the, and I think they had a different one that was like Hulu, Disney, ESPN, but I don't care about sports, but it's like, it's okay to like things, like it's fine. <laughs> you don't have to just watch live streams and think the whole world is terrible. An actual critic, a real critic, not a birthday party clown, will direct you to like, hey, this is good. Hey, you probably want to avoid this. Hey, this is... I don't know. It's 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 challenging. Like it has really great parts to it, really bad parts. Uh, uh, I was on TikTok, was just watching like some reviews from Siskel and Ebert in 1991, and it's like, oh, I remember Grown Ups. <laughs> I remember people talking about things intelligently. Um, I do prove, I, I not prove. I do. Uh, what word am I trying to say? Prefer recommendations to be like thumbs up thumbs down i don't understand like when someone says i give it a 3.5 out of 10 like what is what is that do i watch the movie or not do i watch 35 percent of it um but you can like things there's good stuff on hulu there's good stuff on disney plus if you think disney plus is the devil congratulations on having a very easy life and uh, max of course has mad max which is a franchise about a man his car and his dog, according to people who have seen one of the movies in the franchise. <laughs> but you can like things, relax, it's fine. Like, the, I know there's people who want to stir you up and by incredible coincidence, uh, uh, take money from you while not providing a product, like a comic, uh, for example. But you can like things, like everything doesn't have to be terrible. Life is, is pretty good, sometimes. <laughs> um, but anyway, so, um, uh, I saw this oh, casually comic since she was liking something. Uh, so uh, uh, she says, I love that this concept art for Absolute Batman has the note Thick Boy on it. So this is uh, Batman, uh, Bruce. <laughs> hey, spoilers. Whoa, spoilers. Um, uh, but I'll go to an article that shows them in full. So DC gives new details on Absolute Batman at San Diego Comic Con. 2024. Absolute Batman is huge, owns a French bulldog, and more. So uh, DC Comics gave fans new details on upcoming series, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so a lot of what we learned is just how huge Batman is, as well as his new role, uh, not as a billionaire, billionaire, but as a regular Joe. Oh, and he's huge. Snyder said this was a top-to-bottom reinvention of Batman. We'll circle back to that. Um, plus, Alfred will be a POV character. That's compelling since this means that he'll likely be observing Batman from afar. Uh, Black Mask, not the company from 2017 that most Marvel comics look like right now, but the actual character Black Mask. Black Mask was also revealed as one of his main nemesis, I believe it should be nemeses, out of the gate. Um, likely more rogues will okay so you're just guessing it's just just okay so could they not like 
you weren't allowed to record like why don't i have like like full quotes um uh so uh check out designs by dragoda below for even more info they include the fact that batman is in his 20s is seven feet tall okay he's not seven feet tall i don't know why you said that <laughs> why is journalism so bad like you go there you have an app on your phone you record it then you go sit in the hallway and you type it on your laptop or your tablet like okay he's six foot six like it says it right down there he's not seven feet tall weighs 250 pounds and is a city engineer he also appears to own a french bulldog and then the journalist in the article writes oh please look at the screen he wrote that um it's also revealed uh alfred is an old guard of empire whatever that means How do you not know what that means? He's British. British Empire. He's from the old guard of the... There's nothing I detest more than men not understanding things and not trying to understand things. <sighs> anyway, moving on. Uh, he's also an MI6 spy and goes by the name Penny. Um, Okay, this, this journalist is an idiot. I'm just going to look at the art. <laughs> I would say not helpful. Okay, so let's just look at the designs, which were, I guess, on a, on a PowerPoint. So there's uh, Batman. He's very, he's a large guy. Um, very stylized. So one of the issues, and I, I should have looked it up beforehand, is this is a line, absolute line. So this absolute Batman is going to be in other absolute books sometimes. But like on the posters... I saw not Nick Dragoda, a different artist drawing Nick Dragoda's Batman, but like he drew him the same, but then he drew everyone else. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is a stylized rendition. Um, what needs to be known is that Bruce himself is six foot six. With the ears, he's seven feet tall, although I don't know why you would count with the ears, but he's, he's, he's a large individual. He's in the realm of like the Undertaker type of situation um and uh he's got blonde hair and he's got a dog and a whole bunch of things about alfred are different now why is this being done well it's because i forgot to get my <laughs> this was a very impromptu uh video um so dc will only own the copyright for the first year of the batman comics for like 10 years so i know if you're like in your 20s like 10 years is like that will never happen man when you get to my age 10 years is like nothing <laughs> you might as well say tomorrow so they've got 10 years left of being able to tell people you can't make a batman comic and so what they have to do is they have to do a couple of things so I plan on doing my own version of Batman in 10 years. But my thing was to like set it in the years that it was published. So it'll be like a 1939 comic set in 1939. But then DC comes out with Batman the First Night, which is Dan Jurgens and some artist Mike Perkins, I think. See, you, you can remember people's names. Like you don't have to say Goo Goo Batman Draw Draw Guy. Like you can just say... I think it's Mike Perkins. I might be wrong, but you can... I think it's Mike Perkins. <laughs> Master Squid Game broke something inside of me. <laughs> men should act like men. You should have, like, a real job. You should act like a man. Like, not like... Ooh, it boils my piss that Disney might make a strawberry shortcake 3D animated anime. Ooh. So anyway, getting back to Batman. <laughs> serious subject for serious men. Um, so there weren't a lot of similarities between my version of Batman, which I have a decade to prepare for, and the Batman from Batman the First Night. But there's some. So what they can do in 10 years, they can say, hey, yeah, we don't have the copyright for all of the Batman lore from 1939 anymore but we have the copyright for Batman the First Night which was printed in uh, 
whatever, 2023. So you busted. So it's going to be a very interesting minefield, although Eric Larson has been testing the shit out of it with his version of Mickey Mouse and like nothing has happened. He's got no cease and, cease and desist. And he's been really, really just pushing his luck, like basically asking for Disney to uh, to sue him. So if you wonder why kind of like every, like why does his hair color have to be different? Well, because now that's something copyrightable, that absolute Batman, which is going to, DC's gonna own the copyright for like 95 years from now. Um, now, if your version of Batman has kind of a peach colored hair or maybe even a buzz cut, they might be able to zap you on it. So you're going to see a lot of things different, different uh, design, different concept. And remember, they own. So every year, so like in 10 years, Batman 1939 will get unlocked. And then a year later, Batman 1940. But if you're like, oh, Ra's al Ghul, pff, you got to wait like. 45 years for him to go into the public domain same with like uh wolverine so if you're wondering like why is it so different that's why it's so different but again like when his calves are like that huge that's a stylistic choice of nick dragoda it's not like in the world he has calves that are like a foot wide it's just he's a really big beefy blue collar guy um, so apparently Scott Snyder has a type, um, but uh, it says uh, absolute Batman, Batman base form. Our bat isn't new in form. He's new in function uh, in cowl with boots. Our bat stands seven feet tall. Um, hand wraps protect knuckles and wrist. Always black with gloves over TOD oh, uh, over two. Okay. So uh, here's him in his civilian identity, absolute Batman, uh, six foot six, 250 pounds. Okay, so you're busted there at Casually Comics. You said that they said he was a thick boy, but they actually say he's thick, two explanations, and then he is also a boy. So <laughs> you busted, it's fake news. Um, he's a city engineer, which is a really good secret identity for an urban vigilante i mean i remember a few years ago they were finding like apartments from guys who are city engineers they would just find some alcove somewhere it's got power piss on the tracks like all the homeless people do and they would just like hook it up and they would just go spend like their whole most of their shift just hanging out watching dvds down there 200 feet below fifth avenue so um He's got a dog, so if you're like, oh, my version of Batman will have a dog, eh, you might want to make it a cat. Um, so here's a Black Mask. Um, eh, it's okay. And here is uh, Alfred. Uh, so Alfred, actually, Alfred, like the Alfred Pennyworth, supposedly, or not supposedly, I'm pretty sure I did some research, and he doesn't pop into... The public domain for like 18 years um uh, it was well into well not well into the run but it was not the first or second year like you'll get like gordon and gotham city cat woman joker uh robin all those unlock within like the first two years uh but like alfred being alfred alfred pennyworth the butler no you can have like a butler but you can't say that he's alfred pennyworth so this is Alfred, and uh, they call him Penny. I almost wonder if they're like, Pennyworth is kind of a silly last name. <laughs> like, nobody's named Pennyworth. Like, at least I've never encountered anyone named Pennyworth. Now, making him have some sort of spec ops, black ops background, I mean, that's, that's I mean, Jeff Johns did that with, what was it, Gary Frank, like, pff, like 15, 20 years ago. But having him be a spy and perhaps even a still active spy, that is new. Um, so that's something they can copy right now. So you can't have your version of Alfred be a spy or he has to be a very, very different type. He's got a kind of a snout. 
<laughs> with his mustache and his, his beard, there's kind of a snout situation going on. So overall, it looks good. Um, I like to like things. You are allowed to like this. There's a lot to like here. Um, uh, Scott Snyder seems very excited about it. And again, you, you're like, well, he's he's done Batman like a bunch of times. It's like, well, it's, it's a very, very different take. Um, and this is going to be considered his, even though he doesn't own it. It will be Warner's and then whoever buys them for the next 95 years, unless they individually sell it off. But um, I'm excited for it. How long will it last? Um, I heard Wes from Thinking Critical say 18 months. Eh. I mean, it's a really huge push. And it's Scott Snyder who does, I mean, Dark Knight's Death Metal, all that stuff. That was like three years, like committed. His run on Batman was, what, like four years? He seems like a guy who sticks around. Unless Alex DeCampi spooks him. Oh, boy. Um, so, uh, uh, I like it. Uh, Casually Comics, Sasha, Crystal, she likes it. You can like it. You can like things. You can, like, save in money. You can, like, what, what are they supposed to... Like, I was just laughing to myself. It's like, you know, Siskel and Ebert, sometimes they would both try to get you to watch a movie. Sometimes they would both try to get you to not watch. Obviously, a lot of times they split and they would argue and they kind of roast each other. You know what they never said? Don't watch any movies. Just watch Siskel and Ebert. <laughs> and that's what the birthday, birthday party clowns do. I mean, even when they're excited about it, they're like, they're not really excited because their whole narrative, which is the anti sw version of the message, is everything's terrible. Everything is Hollywood is terrible. Everything needs to collapse. So we can have uh, Kevin Sorbo and Dean Kane and super fat uh, Gina Carano star in everything. And Gina Carano, she's going to destroy Disney with a lawsuit when Disney is famous for just utterly obliterating people who sue them. But whatever. More googly eyes and exclamation points, please. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.